Direct from the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum, it's the Texas Quiz Show. The quiz show about all things Texas for all Texas middle school students. Welcome to the Texas Quiz Show, the academic competition about all things Texas, brought to you by the Texas State Historical Association, the Texas General Land Office Save Texas History Program, the Texas Almanac, and the Summerfield G. Roberts Foundation. This program was made possible in part by a grant from Humanities Texas, the state affiliate of the National Endowment for the Humanities. I'm your host, Rick McCaslin. Our thanks go out to our good friends here at the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum and the Texas Spirit Theater. Let's give a big round of applause for our contestants, our hosts, and our sponsors. This is the second preliminary round of the Texas Quiz Show Championship. This is part of a single elimination tournament to determine which Texas middle school knows Texas best. Throughout the competition, I will ask a series of different questions in each round. The first team to buzz in gets 10 seconds to answer the question. If team one answers the question incorrectly, then team two gets the opportunity to steal the question and answer it themselves. The only time these rules change will be on the final round when the teams will alternate turns answering questions. Questions will be worth different point values in each round. Does everyone understand the rules? Yes. Great. The two teams competing in this round are Mineola Middle School and Cotton Center Middle School. From Mineola Middle School, we have Luke Bowden, Brett Fowler, and Kaylee Sauer. The rest of the team is here with their coach, Jim Phillips. And now from Cotton Center Middle School, we have Juan Munoz, Jennifer Hale, and Austin Barrow. And the rest of the team is here with their coach, James Higgs. <laughs> we'll get to know our contestants a little bit later in the show. Let's give our teams a big round of applause again. And now let's get started with the first round, the lightning round. In this round, each question is worth 10 points, and you will get 10 seconds to answer. Teams, are you ready? Yes. Audience, are you ready? Wake up, morning's passing by. Let's begin the Texas Quiz Show. Round one, question one. What state organization sponsors competitive sports along with academic and fun? To my left, Cotton Center? UIL. Hmm? UIL. Correct, UIL, University Interscholastic League. Question two, who was the female partner of the notorious outlaw Clyde Barrow? To my left, Cotton Center? Bonnie Parker. Bonnie Parker. Next question, what Texas town is named for a fictional man of the jungle? Take a guess. Uh, the correct answer was Tarzan. I myself have never been to Tarzan, Texas, but maybe I should. Okay, next question. Who is the current Texas Lieutenant Governor? Mineola? Rick Perry. Rick Perry is not correct. Can you please repeat the question? Who is the current Lieutenant Governor of Texas? Greg Addit? Not correct. It's Dave Dewhurst. Next question. The Spanish name of the Texas town Agua Dulce means what in English? Cotton Center? Sweet water. Correct. Sweet water. Number six. What was the name of the federal agency formed to help ex slaves adjust to life after the Civil War? Mineola? 
Friedman. Friedman's what? Blank, okay. For the steel? Can you please repeat the question? What was the name of the federal agency formed to help ex-slaves adjust to life after the Civil War? Do you have an answer? Friedman's Institution. Close. Friedman's Bureau is the correct answer. Number seven. Next question. What is the state insect? Cotton center? Warnock butterfly. Correct. Last question in this round. This day commemorates the announcement of the Emancipation Proclamation in Texas. Juneteenth. Correct. That was Mineola. That ends the first round of the Texas Quiz Show. The score is now Cotton Center Middle School, 40 points. Mineola Middle School, 10 points. <laughs> now for a little more information about our contestants. From Mineola Middle School, we have Luke, Brett, and Kaylee. Luke enjoys vacationing in East Texas. What do you like most about it? It's home. <laughs> that would be a good reason. You don't like to go far away for a vacation? Well, farther and more stressful for me. Okay, fair enough. Brett, I see your favorite moment in Texas history was the Battle of Palmito Ranch. Why is that? Because it's the last battle and it ended it. And we won, right? Yeah. Kaylee? You have an interesting Texan for a hero, Stephen F. Austin. What is it about Austin that you like so much? How he displayed so much courage and bravery. Great answers. Appreciate it. Now for our other team from Cotton Center Middle School, we have Juan, Jennifer, and Austin. Juan's favorite movie Texan is Sandra Bullock. We won't ask you why, <laughs> but we will say what is your favorite movie that she starred in? Do you have a favorite movie? Not really. All of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you ever meet her, that's the correct answer. I love <laughs> all of your movies. Austin loves to work cattle with the family. Why, Austin? Because it's a great way to spend time with them. What kind of cattle? Uh, different kinds. Beef, dairy, yeah. beef. beef. <laughs> Brave soul. And our last contestant on stage is Jennifer, whose favorite Texas food is chicken fried steak. Where's your favorite place to get chicken fried steak? My grandma's house. Yeah, good answer. For me, it's my wife. <laughs> Thank you for sharing those interesting facts about yourselves. Now for more quiz show action, let's get back to the show and move into round two. Celebrate Texas is a series of 60-second video presentations from well-known Texans that recall the many outstanding accomplishments made by other Texans. In this clip, former Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson tells the story of a loosely knit group of individuals who gather every day at DFW Airport to meet flights with returning soldiers fresh from the battlefields. After the video, a question will be asked. You will have 10 seconds to write down your answer then you will be asked to hold up your answer. This is a 20-point question, which is available to both teams if you answer the question correctly. Okay, roll the video. Every day, as many as 200 weary soldiers fly into DFW Airport from Iraq and Afghanistan, many of them just off the battlefields. And when they arrive, they have no idea what awaits them. They are welcomed home by patriotic Americans from every walk of life. They start clapping and then cheering. They wave American flags. They've come to show their respect and gratitude to our returning troops. Welcome Home a Hero is a loosely knit group of over 10,000 volunteers who gather every day at Terminal D making sure that no flight goes unheralded. In the highest ranks of the U.S. military, the welcome at DFW is renowned as an example of America at its finest. 
For these volunteers, it's their way of saying to our soldiers, thank you. What you do for us is more important than you know. And they promise they'll keep returning to the airport till the wars are over and all our soldiers are home. Okay, your question is, what is the name of another nonprofit organization that provides programs, services, and live entertainment to United States troops and their families? Since 1941, it has worked in partnership with the Department of Defense, relying heavily on private contribution. Here's a hint. Its initials are USO. You have 10 seconds to answer the question starting now. Remember to write it on the card. About ready. Both of you can hold up your cards. United States organization is close but not totally correct. United States organization is also not totally correct. <laughs> so close. The actual name is United Service Organizations. So neither team answered correctly. No one got 20 points. Now, for more information regarding the Celebrate Texas organization, you can visit their website at celebratetexas.tssa.org. After the end of the Celebrate Texas round, the scores are Cotton Center Middle School, 40 points, Mineola Middle School, 10 points. Let's move on to round three. In this round, the questions are worth 10 points. And remember, you have 10 seconds for your answer. Contestants, get your fingers on your buzzers. Let's get started. Round three. Question one. The launch of what Soviet spacecraft caused the United States to accelerate its space program after 1957? Mineola? Sputnik one. Sputnik. Correct. Next question. The First Presbyterian Church in Orange, Texas, claims to be the first building west of the Mississippi River equipped with what? Can you repeat the question? The First Presbyterian Church in Orange, Texas, claims to be the first building west of the Mississippi River equipped with what? Church bells. Not correct. For the steel? Can you please repeat the question? First Presbyterian Church in Orange, Texas, claims to be the first building west of the Mississippi River equipped with what? Running water. Not correct. Air conditioning. And who wouldn't appreciate that? Okay, number three. Who first ordered the branding of cattle to settle disputes of ownership? Mineola? The Spanish. Correct. Next question, which Republic of Texas president was a doctor? Cotton Center. Mary Lou B. Lemer. Not correct. For the steel, Mineola. Sam Houston. Anson Jones, the very last one. Next question, what is the word used to describe unbranded cattle that roam the open range? Mineola? Scrub cattle. Not correct. Cotton Center? Can you please repeat the question? What is the word used to describe unbranded cattle that roam the open range? Free graze? Mavericks. Next question. What was the largest hurricane on record to hit Texas? Galveston hurricane. Not correct. Cotton Center for the steel. Yeah. 
Hur Hurricane Beulah? No. Hurricane Carla. Hurricane Carla was the largest hurricane on record to hit Texas. Next question. You ready? After whom is the Manned Spacecraft Center now named? Mineola? Can you repeat the question? After whom is the Manned Spacecraft Center now named? John F. Kennedy? Not correct. Can you please repeat the question? After whom is the Manned Spacecraft Center now named? The Johnson Space Center. And who is the Johnson Space Center named after? That was the question. Um. No credit. It's LBJ, Lyndon B. Johnson, the president. There's an awful lot of Johnsons in Texas, so we had to be a little specific. Last question of the round. What cattle trail crossed west across Texas and into New Mexico? Mineola? The Good Night Trail. We got somebody who's an expert on that shaking their head down there. No? Okay. For the steel, Cotton Center? Chisholm, uh, Chisholm Trail? Not correct. It's the Goodnight Loving Trail. He left Oliver off of it. His family would be very upset. Well done. After round three, our score is Cotton Center Middle School 40 points, Mineola Middle School 30 points. It's time for the Texas Almanac round. We're going to show you an image on the screens to your right and to your left. Right now you see the Texas Almanac. The Texas State Historical Association plays a key role in developing the Texas Almanac, a reference work published every two years that provides information for the general public on the history of the state and its people. One of the regular features involves images found in the photo archives of the Texas Almanac. The following image has been pulled from the most recent volume of the Texas Almanac. Can everyone see the cover of the Texas Almanac clearly? Yes. You good? After the image appears on which the question is based, I will ask the question, such as where it is, what it is, etc. You will then have 10 seconds to write your answer on a card. When your time is up, I will ask you to hold up your answer. This is a 25-point question, which is available to both teams if you answer the question correctly. Teams, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Then let's play the image round. The question is, San Elizario was founded in 1789 by the Spanish crown as a military presidio with a soldier community to sustain the garrison. Its objective was to defend this town from Apache and Comanche raiders, bandits, and other threats. San Elizario Chapel was built as part of this presidio. Where is this church located? You have 10 seconds. Answers? It's time to be holding up your answers. Um, let's see, Cotton Center Middle School on my left, El Paso is a correct answer. On my right is Mineola, what was your answer? San Antonio? Not correct. 
Congratulations, Cotton Center. You answered correctly and earned the 25 points. San Elizario Chapel can be found in El Paso, Texas. After the end of the image round, the score is Cotton Center Middle School 65 points and Mineola Middle School with 30 points. Let's move on to round five. This round, the question is worth 25 points. This round is sponsored by the Texas General Land Office. It is presented by Commissioner Jerry Patterson, who is Commissioner of the Texas General Land Office. After the video, a question is asked, and you will have 10 seconds to write down your answer. Then you will be asked to hold up your answer. Okay, let's roll the video. I'm Texas Land Commissioner Jerry Patterson, and I'm standing in the historic archives of the Texas General Land Office in Austin. The Land Office is a special place for Texas history. Our archives protect documents that tell the story of Texas land, including thousands of maps and surveys dating back hundreds of years, and documents from Texas heroes like Stephen F. Austin and David Crockett. I'd like to invite you to visit the Land Office and see these treasures for yourself. Learn more about the Land Office Save Texas History program at SaveTexasHistory.org. And now here's the question. This statesman was responsible for bringing hundreds of Americans to Texas. He saw the wilderness transformed into a relatively advanced and populous state. His relentless labor, perseverance, foresight, and tactful management was key to the creation of early Texas. He was a statesman, an impresario, and a general. Who was this multi-talented individual who did so much for Texas? Okay, contestants, you have 10 seconds to write your answer starting now. Hold up. Cotton Center has Stephen F. Austin on their card. That is correct. Mineola has Stephen F. Austin on their card, and that is correct. So both schools have answered the question correctly. Both schools will earn the 25 points. Hit the video. The answer is Stephen F. Austin. Austin is credited with being the father of Anglo-American settlement in Texas. He is credited with bringing the first 300 Anglo settlers into what was then the sparsely populated Mexican province of Coila y Tejas. Austin eventually helped bring over 1,000 families to settle in Texas. Austin's colony prospered and served as an example to other impresarios. Congratulations to both teams for earning 25 points. That concludes round five of the Texas Quiz Show. The score now stands at Cotton Center Middle School, 90 points. Mineola Middle School, 55 points. Now it's time for round six. Question. I saw that. Questions in this round are worth 20 points. Remember that you have 10 seconds to answer. Teams, are you ready? Yes. Audience, you sound ready. There you go. Round six, question one. Jack Birch and James Papadakis discover what national natural landmark in the West Texas limestone of Sonora in 1956. Mineola? Can you please repeat the question? Jack Birch and James Papadakis discover what nat national natural landmark in the West Texas limestone of Sonora in 1956. Big Ben. Not correct for the steel cotton center. Can you please repeat the question? Jack Birch and James Papadakis discover what national <coughs> natural landmark in the West Texas limestone of Sonora in 1956. Do you have an answer for me? Pass. 
Caverns of Sonora. Y'all just made me say that over and over because you wanted to see if I could say Papadakis that many times <laughs> correctly. In what treaty did the U.S. drop all claims that Texas was part of the Luz? Adams on East Treaty. Correct. That was Mineola. Erasmo Seguin was the alcalde or mayor of what city at the time he helped Stephen Austin colonize Texas? Mineola? Can you please repeat the question? Erasmo Seguin was the alcalde or mayor of what city at the time he helped Stephen F. Austin colonize Texas? San Antonio. Correct. Next question. What city was the location of a Texas earthquake of a magnitude of 2.7 to 3.3 in the year 2000? Cotton Center. What city was the location of a Texas earthquake of a magnitude of 2.7 to 3.3 in the year 2000. What is? Not correct. For the steel, Mineola? El Paso. Not correct. Amarillo. <coughs> Next question. What name did archaeologists give to the skeleton they found near Midland that helped them learn about prehistoric Texans? Can you repeat the question? What name did archaeologists give to the skeleton they found near Midland that helped them learn about prehistoric Texans? Pass. Cotton Center? <laughs> Guesses don't hurt. June 6th. <laughs> Midland Minnie. <laughs> What's her name? Next question. Which governor who expanded the powers of his office prompted authors of the 1876 Constitution to limit the powers of the governor? Mineola? Can you repeat the question? Which governor who expanded the powers of his office prompted authors of the 1876 Constitution to limit the powers of the governor? You have an answer for me? Pass. Anybody on Cotton Center want to go for the steal? Sam Houston. Not correct. E.J. Davis or Edmund J. Davis. <coughs> Next question. Who is the largest supplier of renewable energy in Texas due to their hydroelectric facilities? Mineola? Can you repeat the question? Who is the largest supplier of renewable energy in Texas due to their hydroelectric facilities? Amarillo. Nope, not correct. Can you please repeat the question? Who is the largest supplier of renewable energy in Texas due to their hydroelectric facilities? Do you have an answer for me? Go up. Good idea, but it's actually a specific organization called the Lower Colorado River Authority. Last question of the round. This man brought the first settlers to Texas known as the Old Three? Stephen F. Austin. Correct. That concludes round six of the Texas Quiz Show. The score is now Cotton Center Middle School, 110 points. Mineola Middle School, 95 points. This year, 
The Texas Quiz Show is introducing a segment that has involved hundreds of fourth graders statewide. Fourth graders wrote questions on all things Texas history and submitted them to the TSHA for this segment. Grayson Turner from Flower Mound submitted a question that was chosen for today's competition. This is a 30 point question, which is available to both teams if you answer the question correctly. Remember that you will have 10 seconds to write down your answer on a card. Then you will be asked to hold up your answer. Teams, are you ready? Yes. Pins at the ready. Audience, are you ready? Then let's play Are You Smarter Than a Fourth Grader? How many counties are there in Texas? Should be time to throw up some cards. Cotton Center Middle School, 254 is absolutely correct. And 306, I'm sorry, Mediola, is not correct. <laughs> Congratulations, Cotton Center Middle School. You answered correctly and earned the 30 points. That concludes round seven of the Texas Quiz Show. And the score is now Cotton Center Middle School with 140 points, Mediola Middle School with 95 points. Now is the time for the last and crucial round, the category round. In this round, we have six questions in six different categories, as shown on the board to your right and to your left. The categories are history, politics, economics, weather, geography, sports and entertainment. Each team will have an opportunity to choose a category and you will have 10 seconds to answer the question from that category. If team one makes a wrong answer or exceeds the time limit, team two will have the opportunity to answer the question correctly. These questions are worth a lot of points. The first question your team chooses is worth 20. The second is worth 30. And the third is worth 40 points. Do you understand? Are we ready, audience? Are we ready, teams? Yes. Are we ready, buzzer people? Good. Okay, Cotton Center Middle School, you are in the lead, so you choose your category for 20 points. History. Okay, for 20 points, here's your first question. Martin Perfecto de Cas, Santa Ana's brother-in-law, was defeated at what battle? Do you have an answer? Battle of Behar. Correct. Mineola Middle School, for 20 points, choose a category. Geography. Geography it is. Which town is the host for the annual Texas Cowboy Reunion? Fort Worth. Not correct for the steel, Cotton Center. Dallas. Not correct. Stamford, Texas is the host for the annual Texas Cowboy Reunion. Okay, Cotton Center for 30 points. Pick a category. Sports and entertainment. Sports and entertainment. The question is, winner of the 1966 Pulitzer Prize, what Texas woman author is known for her stories of rural, central Texas life? Need an answer. Pass. Pass. Mineola? The 
You have a guess for me? Catherine Ann Porter. Okay. Mineola for 30 points. Pick a category. Weather. Weather it is. In what town did an F5 tornado hit in 1997 and killed 27 people? Do you have an answer for me? Houston. Not correct. Cotton Center. Galveston. Not correct. Y'all are looking for way too big. We're looking at little old Gerald, Texas. And Cotton Center for 40 points. Choose one of the remaining two categories, please. There you go. Economy. Redbacks were a type of what issued by the Republic of Texas? Jigs. Jigs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Threw me for a second. I wasn't expecting that one. Okay. Mineola. For the steel. Cattle. It's currency. Money. Paper money. And last category for Mineola. For 40 points, politics. Question is, what did Governor Pease establish during his 1853 term that provides money for the public schools? Do you have an answer? Mineola? Texas Education. No. Cotton Center. Foundation yeah. School Fund. So close. It is the permanent school fund. It's a different fund. I think the one you're thinking of is the post-Civil War. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it, everyone. The final score of this round of the Texas Quiz Show is Cotton Center Middle School with 160 points. Mineola Middle School with 95 points. Our winner is Cotton Center. Congratulations from all of us here at the Texas Quiz Show. Our congratulations go to Coach James Higgs and all of the students of Cotton Center Middle School. Congratulations as well to Coach Jim Phillips and all the students of Mineola Middle School. Let's have a big round of applause once more for all of our amazing contestants. We want to thank our sponsors, the Texas State Historical Association, the Texas General Land Office Save Texas History Program, Humanities Texas, the Texas Almanac, and the Summerfield G. Roberts Foundation. Let's have a special round of applause for the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum. For the Texas Quiz Show, I'm Rick McCaslin.